I, I tell all my friends, your first two trips to LA, you'll hate it. Because you're not seeing the real LA. You're you're going to these stupid bloody tourist destinations. There's homeless everywhere. Yeah. It it looks like a shit hole. And that's the unfortunate thing. But also, you want to do that as a tourist. You're like, I want to go see this, see that. Once you hang out there with locals and you get to see like the little communities everywhere and the people that are there, it's such a great place. But... I'm not there to convince everyone, but a lot of people, when they spend more time, they're like, I'm really enjoying LA. So it took a while to kind of get oh, into yeah. the... It's not that you're going to land in Sydney or Melbourne and be like, this is the best city in the world. Yeah. You usually get to LA, you're like, this is a <laughs> Why is everyone here? What's going on? But then there's layers to it. And also, all the areas in LA are different. West Hollywood's different to Santa Monica. Mm-hmm. That's different to Venice. That's different to Silver Lake, where all the hipsters are and like... There's so many different sides to the city. And is it still that super hub that we're kind of believe that it is? Is it still where everyone goes and where there is a whole bunch of success and driven people trying to achieve their dreams? Or has that died off a little bit? No, there's there's that and more. Um, Particularly, so where I live in Venice Beach, you've got the actors, but most of the actors are in West Hollywood. You've You've got actors... You've got the, the hippie spiritual people, the namasteers that are into the latest <laughs> whatever fa- craze and phase it is, <laughs> you know, milking a carrot and, <laughs> like, I don't know, having mushrooms at this time of the day and, like, whatever it is. Yeah. You've got those people. You've got the billionaires. Like, there's actual billionaires, but they're very understated. So they're wearing, like, the most casual clothing. And your friend's like, oh, yeah, no, he just sold his company for, like, $1.2 billion. And you're like, and then you've got like the creatives. You just got this boiling pot of really cool people that are all coming together in a place that's on the beach where the crime rate is so high. So like every time I leave a bar or restaurant and walk home, I'm like, I could get shot tonight. But, like, what are you doing to protect yourself? Because we ne- never wear say- a watch on the street there at night. Like that's stupid. Um, never like I avoid eye contact walking home, just because you never know. Like this, it's a risky place, but. We take on that risk living there. It's kind of like high risk, high reward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some would say, they're like, it's a lot like Bondi. I'm like, yeah, kind of. Except any moment you get stabbed. 